when you think of classic Americana, you might think of the Woody, the old school wood paneled car that used to everybody used to have. But you might not think of golf carts. Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey there, and welcome back to Golf Karting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts. Thrilled to have you back here today. So as I'm wearing my red, white, and blue shirt, thought we'd talk about a classic American style uh, car, the old Woody. And in today's case, we have an actual Woody golf cart, totally custom built. Uh, this stuff was wood pulled off of an old barn or something and, and uh, totally, I mean, just pristine as far as the details that you're going to see in this thing. Uh, speaking of red, white, and blue, thanks to Yada Golf, this is my shirt for the week and love this thing. Something to stand out, something to give you a little bit of patriotism. It's all good. So. Let's jump in with Andy Fisher and his awesome Woody golf cart. Hey everybody, it's Matt with uh, Golf Karting TV. Uh, I'm here with Andy Fisher of Fisher Carts, and we are looking at a pretty cool custom cart that he has built. So Andy, why don't you take us through what you've got here? Uh, this is, I guess you'd say a 32 Woody. It's built on a 90 chassis, easy go. It's got the stock chassis underneath it. I put the uh, Godfather wheels on the front and back. It's got 10 inches up front and 14s in the back. It's got Harley Davidson coilovers in the front, which you can't see, they're underneath. I changed out the headlights to LEDs. It's got park lights. It's got the handmade grill that I've made for it. Um, it is street legal here in South Carolina. It runs about 30 miles an hour. This is a DC golf cart. It's got a 450 all tracks controller in it with a high speed D and D or a, I'm sorry, a high torque D and D motor. Uh, because of the weight with all the wood, I tried a high speed motor and it just didn't have enough get up and go yeah. to get going. It did fine once you got going, but it, was real slow taking off, so I changed out to a high torque because all the wood. So it's tell me a little bit of the backstory. I know you you yeah. bought this from a family, but it's the wood is all pulled from somewhere. It was like right. give me a little bit of that. Uh, a good friend of mine, Bill Carpenter, built this golf cart about probably 20, 30 years ago. He hand cut all the wood off of his dad's farm out of Fort Mill, South Carolina. He hand fabricated all the wood. He hand fabricated the fenders, the sideboards, the front fenders, the front hood, everything. Everything he hand built. There's nothing on this golf cart you go buy in a kit. It's all just hand built by Bill. I made the surfboard memorial for him. I added that once I got the golf cart from his wife after he passed away. Bill passed away right after he got it finished and then I bought it several almost about 11 years after he passed away I finally got my hands on it uh, it was 36 volts when Bill owned it when I got it I turned it into 72 volts uh, it's got Bluetooth keg speakers that I put in it they've got their own little battery packs to run off the remote switch I can turn them on at any time it's got the LED lights up in the top for night. Just let it sit and flash lights when you're sitting still. Yeah, and I love that Woody look yeah. on the inside. Yeah, That's it's so got cool. the actual made wood slots like a real Woody would have. Bill did an excellent job in his woodwork. I wished I had half his talent when it came to wood. That's amazing, and you said he was a Barber? He was a barber by trade. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it's got the brake lights. It's got the dually exhaust tips on it. It's got the stock rear end still in it. Um, it's 
Like I said, it's 72 volts. It's got 9.8 volts in it. It's got the GPS speedometer, the digital voltmeter. It's got the headlight switch. It's got a 9 or 12 volt USB port in the bottom. Uh, it's just a cool little, cool little golf cart. It's got a GM rear view mirror in it that gives you compass and temperature. Where did you get that steering wheel? The steering wheel was handmade by Bill. That's wow. an actual uh, wooden steering wheel hub. With He used the same. That's where I got the idea for the front grill. That's stainless steel TIG wire for the banjo pieces. And then I put a wooden steering wheel cover over top of it. Very cool. Can you lift up the seat and, and show uh, me the batteries a little bit? Yeah, I can see where the batteries go. Like I said, it's a 90 model, easy go. So it's got the controller mounted between the six batteries. And then there are more that go back into the back side there. Yeah. And then in the back, we got the other three to make the 72 volts with the motor, the DMD motor, and the coal over shocks. Nice. That is so cool. It's an older build, but it still gets its job done. And tell me, tell me about this top. Uh, it had an old vinyl seat top on it that was starting to look pretty rough when I got it back. So I had the upholstery shop up here in Merle's Inlet do me a convertible top. It's called a Carson's top, if anybody remembers the old Carson material tops. It is waterproof. It can sit out in the rain. It won't soak up the rain. The rain just runs right off of it. But it, I call it a Carson top. It's actually a convertible top material. And it looks great. Yeah, it looks it a does. lot better than the vinyl ever thought about. Look. That is sharp, yeah. Well, this is awesome, Andy. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us what you got here. This is really cool. Well, thank you all for coming out. So we've talked to Andy before, and he has that old Roadster. If you haven't watched that, I'll put the, the link up here. But uh, he has his Roadster cart. But what is so cool is taking that sound of like the muffling engine and running it through some pretty loud speakers to make it sound like that's actually an old school Roadster uh, type of a deal. So just really cool creativity going on down there. And uh, thanks, Andy, again for uh, letting us take a look at your stuff. So like, subscribe. Hope you stick around. Hope you come back next week, every Wednesday at noon. We'd love to see you again. And check us out. We'll be here then.